There's the odd one or two. That really pissed me off. Right, the price to pay caused by Brexit. Couldn't agree more. I didn't, I didn't choose Brexit, didn't choose it. You should learn French first and then criticise the French system. Why? Point of view, never said that. Never said that at all. But before any of that, roll intro. Good morning, chickens. Right, I've already fed you. You're know, making yourself a nice little dust bath. Wouldn't, wouldn't bother, it's not warm. Must be amazing to be Jean-Luc, just legging it around. Anyway, good morning from Department 16, the Chironte in the southwest of France. Yeah, thanks to everyone who watched the video yesterday and added a comment. You know, I always uh, reply to every comment and uh, read them in the morning. And for, for those of you that don't know, uh, we've got an Instagram account, Skate to France 2024. Give us a follow and I'll follow you back. So yesterday, yesterday's video included um, the rear tire blowout on my motorbike and then repairing it. I was going to the prefecture office uh, and chasing them up. That's worked. I'll give you an update about that in a second. Um, and then going to the CPAM office. But there were loads of teachable moments yesterday. First one is not to think you're having some sort of mental health episode when you're riding your bike, when really your rear tire's blown. You just need to trust your instincts and pull over. Teachable lesson number one. Be prepared to have your bag searched when you go into a government building. So listen out for the keywords like sack, which means bag, and then you won't get shouted out. And thirdly is um, you've got 30 minutes to get your vehicle repaired if you uh, pull over, um, if you've got a problem with your car or motorbike or whatever, uh, before you need to uh, before you need to get it towed away. Anyway, an update on the visa stuff. So I had a, uh, an email through yesterday saying that um, I need to go and pick up my carte de séjour, which is ready at the prefecture office Monday through to Friday between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. at the cost of 225 euros. You can't pay by card or cash. You need, you need to pay by a stamp, which you get online, which, which is a bit unusual for us English. We, we've never heard of that system before. Um, so yeah, if uh, I'll have to pay that and uh, take passports, etc., to take to the prefecture office. And then I've got my card de séjour. I'm just waiting on the uh, Carte Vatel card to come through the post now. But with Lisa, she's been given uh, an extension on her visitor visa. Um, the Carte de Séjour people um, want, what do they want? Um, they want her temporary number for the, uh, for the Carte Vital. And we've already been told that. They've got all the paperwork and we should get that next week. Uh, but as soon as, you, as soon as she opened the notification, she's then got 30 days to action it. So she wished she'd known that. That's another teachable moment then, isn't it? Um, don't open it straight away. <laughs> um, so she's now got 30 days. So hopefully uh, we'll get the Carte Vital information um, before those and then she can up upload that document. And then I think they wanted um, the validation uh, of the visa uh, confirmation, which we know we've already sent them. Anyway, we met uh, Daryl and Liz yeah, through YouTube and uh, yeah, they've become friends and so they're coming round um, this evening uh, for drinks and something to eat they're gonna have a sleepover that's amazing YouTube's amazing and we've met so many lovely people through uh, yeah through having this channel and the support you guys have uh, shown us and the and the help that you've given us has just been absolutely astonishing so thank you for that really appreciate it so it's Thursday which means we need to go shopping um, and I'm also going to go and give my bike a bit of a test ride. I'm not going to take you shopping because we did that last week. Can't be doing that every single week. Anyway, so whatever is next, no idea what it is. Let's do that. It's raining. I said it was going to rain. I didn't think it was going to rain this much. So that's me not test riding my bike today, which is really annoying. Anyway, we're back from shopping. I've got something to say. We were in Leclerc 
in La Rochefoucauld and uh, got approached by a lovely lady called Jane and her husband Alan, who, uh, who followed the channel, uh, which is amazing. And uh, we had a chat with them. You know, they've been following the channel right from the very beginning. Um, they, are, they are one of the 29% of all views that watch on telly. Viewers that watch on telly. Um, yes, they don't comment. And I don't blame them because it's a pain in the neck. You're watching on the telly because you can't comment on the telly. Um, and then having to go on your phone or laptop. So, yeah. Um, I appreciate anyone that watches uh, and anyone that can't comment. <laughs> I understand. Because I don't comment on the stuff that uh, I watch on the telly. Well, rarely anyway. Anyway, there's something else that I wanted to say. The vast majority of comments that we get on our videos, and I'd say a good 99% of them, really really supportive really supportive uh but then there's the odd one or two that really piss me off uh, and i'm not bleeping it out because i'm because i'm proper annoyed um i got a comment and i'll and i'll read it out in a minute and if you're really that interested to see the comment and my reply um yeah go back into the comments page you'll find it um and because i'd like to think that uh I do nothing but promote France. Um, yeah, since living here, it's an amazing country with an amazing people. Um, yeah, the systems, yeah, we're having to get used to, especially the French bureaucracy, which is well known throughout the world. Um, but yeah, but what it won't be is it won't be a sycophant to the whole French system because that's just ridiculous. Um, it's, it's a flawed system. It really, really is. Um, and I'm not saying that England is perfect. I'm pretty sure the American viewers that are watching this are going to say that the American bureaucracy is, is ridiculous as well. So what I won't be is a sycophant. And if, in it, if I see something that is ridiculously wrong, then I'll call it out. Now, what the comment forced me to do was to watch the video again yesterday to see where I was critical. And I don't think I was. I just said, I got shouted at. And... Um, yeah, we're going to have to go up to the government buildings where we're going to have to wait. It's not really being over overly critical. Anyway, I'll read out the comment. <laughs> right, so. Where is it? Oh, I've lost it. Idiot. Here we go. I found it. Sorry about that. Right. The price to pay caused by Brexit. Couldn't agree more. I didn't, I didn't choose Brexit. Didn't choose it. You should learn French first and then criticise the French system. Why? Why do I need to learn French first before criticising anything? Um, I, d I don't need to. I've been taking French lessons every day for the past 953 days. I don't know what more else I could do. I can get by with my French. At what point am I considered fluent? At what point am I considered fluent enough to be able to criticise, je ne sais pas. Um, why, why, why did you choose France? Where everything is wrong according to your point of view. Never said that, never said that at all. Fatigue de lire les critiques de la part des Anglais qui souvent viennent, viennent en France pour les mauvaises raisons. What I'm saying is, She's tired, or he's tired, of um, English people coming over and criticising and coming over for, yeah, for the wrong reasons. Anyway, I've replied. Go and take a look. It's not the first time that person's commented, so I'll, um, I'll leave the comment, comment up for a few days and then I'll, and then I'll block them. Because I'm not interested in that sort of negativity. Um, at all. Anyway, it's made me a bit grumpy. But... Um, C'est la vie. Vive la France. That was many, many hours ago. Uh, I've been in communications uh, with my brother about the, uh, about the message. And uh, he was all set to uh, add a supporting comment, a supportive comment. Uh, but we think that the, uh, well, the lady's taking the comment down. I'll see you tomorrow. So, it's two o'clock. 
on Friday afternoon. The reason why it's so late is because Lisa and I, <whistles> listen Daryl, I had a late one in the early hours of this morning. So I've lacked all sorts of motivation. And this Friday represents the last Friday of the kids being off for eight weeks. <laughs> That's amazing. Shut up. I'm in a better mood today. I've got over that, uh, that comment. You just can't account um, for stupidity and ignorance, can you? But uh, anyway, I need, to, uh, I need to test ride my bike. I'm gonna do that. Leaves one last thing left to say. It's not from me. Lighters. Lighters.